welcome back to my channel so today's video is a video that i promised on my last video that i was gonna do um this video is basically i'm talking about quinceanera stuff so if you are somebody that is planning on having a quinceanera or you're already planning your quinceanera or you're about to or if you're a mom about to plan for your daughter's quince or whoever it may be maybe be a niece that you have full custody of or whatever the case may be this video is going to be for that. I'm going to have different series for you guys. That way I can help you guys plan because I'm always, like right now, I just got messages. Like when my friend is planning her daughter's um, game to that and about a year from now, my daughter is in two months from now and it's a lot to prepare. Oh my god, if you, Piper, shh, if you are one that is planning like a year before um or if you have enough time maybe like you're not gonna be 15 to about four years i say plans start, like starting like three years because then it is a lot to prepare now this video i'm gonna start doing telling you guys the theme of my daughter my daughter is 14 obviously she's gonna be 15 in may 13th her game tonight is on may 18th um, because that's the Saturday that was available and it kind of sucks because if you are like me and your daughter's birthday is in May if you you guys know that the what month is busy like May there's graduation prom is around the corner for us is in March so it's a lot to prepare and me was the first thing that you need to do is book the date and the hall that's the first thing to for a king to out because that way you know the date is locked in you put your deposit you have that date secured and then you start booking everything around it because if you hire a decorator they're going to need to know did you book the hall do you have the date because that way they can look at their calendar to make sure that their date is available same thing with music if you're picking up somebody for the music for the games it they need a date because if you're going to book them they'll be like okay but i can't tell you if i'm booked so the first thing is about booking planning for a kids is make sure that you have the hall where you want to have it make sure the date is available put the deposit that way it's secured and that date is locked for you now moving on from that the next thing is a theme pick a theme the theme for my daughter is cinderella and the reason why we picked cinderella was because cinderella is one of my favorite princesses um next to little mermaid Ariel those two are my favorite princesses from the Disney princesses and for a very long time before I even was pregnant with Destiny I always said that I wanted their room to be Cinderella I just like the whole like princess theme I like the glass slipper like the whole thing and funny was like when I used to work at Blockbuster when I was like 18 19 years old they blockbuster back then um there's no more blockbuster but black block, blockbuster back then it used to come in the we would be we would get toys we could get photo albums and it was so weird because i started seeing like cinderella stuff i started buying it and then later on you know i got pregnant with destiny and i did her whole nursery disney princesses because that was like the end thing like disney princesses it wasn't just cinderella it was disney princesses but i did more cinderella um, moving forward, her very first birthday party was Cinderella. I know how to draw, so I drew Cinderella sitting on the chair, and it was pin the uh, slip this glass slipper on Cinderella. The, you know, your your hand, your eyes were blindfolded, and I did like the whole Cinderella castle cake. It was really nice, and I even had a uh, Cinderella dress custom made for her, and I still have that dress. It's in the storage. Um, a really nice and safe in a box. So we're going to be displaying that for her kids. So I always knew Cinderella was something that I wanted when she turned 15. And now that year's been later, we are here. Um, so this video is going to be one thing from her King Cinderella. And it's going to be her last doll. So if you guys don't know, you have a list of padrinos, which people that get you the, the necklace, the earrings, the ring. Um, the list goes on and on and on. So this was going to be Kinsen my planning my daughter's skins and then episode one is what I'm going to call this. Um, or something like that. You'll see in the title of this video. I know I'm kind of ramming about, but this video is going to be a lot about talking, guys. So if you want to forward it, more than welcome. But this is strictly to help you guys on how to plan a Kinsen Nera. Now, the last doll, I was thinking, okay, we need to find a last doll. Basically, last doll, because you're turning 15, you guys don't know, is because she's becoming a young woman. And the whole Hispanic thing, we celebrate a, wo a young girl becoming a woman. It's a big old celebration. And that's how it all is about a quinceanera. Quinceanera, 15. Um, quinceanera is 15. So, usually, you have someone to get her the last doll. Now, normally, people will go about godparents getting them a dress, but my parents are buying her the dress for her kings. Again, you have other knows our parents can buy it too or whatever. But we chose her godparents to buy the last doll. Now, the last doll, when Destiny was three years old, um, 
American Doll was, I think, starting to get really big. And it still is big now, but back then, when she was three, it was getting really big. Um, and she started getting, like, stores and stuff like that. And my parents took her on a trip. And I think they were in Dallas. They went to American Doll store. She was little and she didn't know what it was. My parents went in there and they bought her American Doll to look like her. Because that's like, normally how they do. You get a doll that kind of represents them to, see, to look like them. And... She had American Doll when she was three years old. So my parent, well, my mom actually had suggested, why don't we use that American Doll for her last doll as a ginse? Like, why don't we, American Doll has a website and it's called like a hospital or something, which I have the paper right here. This is a form that you print out from American Doll. So this form is a doll, doll hospital admit, admission form and you fill it out and you mark down and the prices of what your doll needs care of. So being that she was three years old, you know, she there's some little bit of pen marks on her face, a little bit of, she polished the nails when she was little, the toenails when she was little. And so it wasn't bad, bad, but it was like we need to clean her up. So I printed out the form. I printed out two of them just in case, but this is just the extra one. I printed it out and I sent it off to get her clean. And one of the things that her dog didn't have was her ears pierced. And the ears piercing is $16. And then I just said to do like a cleaning and um, if they do ask to put her in a box. No tissue paper, no wrapping, just in a box with no clothes on because when they get the doll they put a little hospital of the gown on her with the hospital bracelet it's like really really cute and then you cut this off right here and you stick it to the label so my mom and i had decided for her last doll why not we use her american doll and we just buy the dress like look for cinderella and i did find a cinderella american doll which is the 18 inch and i found the little slippers and i found a crown to match so it doesn't have to look exactly like her kids i know some some back then you would be like that but we weren't we're we're looking for like that bahama it's called a bahama blue which is kind of like this is spray bar because i was doing some crafts with her king set it's kind of like this this is a called a bahama blue on destiny's kiss and dress that's the blue that it's called her damas are wearing a dark blue so we're doing a lot of baby blue royal blue silver and acrylic if you don't know acrylic it's kind of like clear because it resembles a glass slipper so those are the main things we're doing um on the the quinceanera so we sent her off and i had gotten a call saying from american doll just to let us let me know that they couldn't do her hair as an updo which is fine i'm looking at youtube videos on how to do a hairdo on an american doll so i'll probably be doing that to show you guys what i come up with um but they did call me to let me know that they couldn't take off a lot of the some of the stains on her face um if i wanted to replace the whole head I said no because it's not so bad and those marks are something that she made when she was three years old so they're memories whether it's it, it's not bad it's just memories like I'm not gonna replace a doll like she had that head on her doll since she was three years old and it's just memorable and I want her to one day give to her daughter when she's younger or have anything to that or, or whatever it may be and if she becomes a mom that's all boys well maybe she'll have a granddaughter you know whatever the first female down her line to give that doll to so I got the doll back they told me and I said no just leave it alone they pierce her ears I didn't tell them what kind of jewelry to pierce her ears I just wrote a comment on right here that she's have any quinceanera, cinderella theme, blah, blah, blah. So we got her doll back today and it comes in this big old box and you see the little band-aid and it says American Girl. I know, I broke a nail guys. <laughs> and it's so cute and it says American Girl Doll House. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out. And you just want to see like how the doll comes back, you know, and take it or whatever. So this is what she looks like and there you go so they put her some cute little socks she's pinned to the box this cute little nightgown which is so cute and then it has the american doll um it says american girl doll hospital and then you see her little bracelet her little hospital bracelet now you see how it has some little bruising from i don't know what destiny did when she was little but I'm not concerned about it. It's just something that's, you know, whatever may be. They, I do see that they took off some of the pol the polish isn't on there as at all. Um, she still has maybe like a little bit of a glitter polish nail right there. You can hardly see, you see it a little bit. 
it's nothing crazy it's not like someone's gonna be looking at the doll being like oh my god her doll's dirty no um little marks on it as you can see um her eyes are green because destiny's eyes are like greenish gray they her my daughter's eyes change color um when she's mad or she's crying they're blue most of the time her eyes are green with gray and sometimes a little bit of yellow specks in it but my mom got her the doll and her hair is brown although my daughter's hair is a little bit darker but this is what my mom and destiny picked when she was three years old and um i don't like that to her eye but uh yeah so you see like it's very small little bits and it's nothing major she, they did put her hair in a little ponytail with a little bit of ribbon um a ribbon around it and that is that now the cool thing i like is the fact that because destiny's skin that is cinderella you see her ears that are pierced they put some blue earrings on and i was like oh my god like what are the odds like they're using blue earrings right so it also comes with this right here which you can change them out if you want to which is an extra pair of blue earrings which is awesome because in case something happens or the earring comes on undone or whatever like we have an extra one to replace i mean Jessie's not gonna be playing with this doll anymore she's already gonna be 15 but it's just for you know the last doll and then it comes with these two so i'm just gonna leave this in here i mean we're not gonna you know it's just gonna be there maybe one day when she when she's a mom um hopefully not till a very very long time um her daughter can you know our granddaughter whichever can has these and she can um place them or whatever because you never know what her things is going to be so i just wanted to kind of show you guys what this looks like so this is going to be the doll that we chose for her quinceanera and her godparents since they did not buy the doll they just went ahead and paid for the um shipping they paid for the ear piercing they paid for her to be cleaned and then they also paid for the accessories which was the dress the shoes and the crown which i'm about to show you guys what that looks like the crown first i got through got this through amazon and i just put american doll um crown or sapphire crown or something like that so it comes like this and you have to put it together but you see how it has really pretty blue rhinestones and i didn't want to put it together because the doll wasn't here and you know i was like i'm not gonna do it until the day of but i'm gonna do take it and un undo it so that way you guys can crown itself and you kind of just place it it kind of does look a little bit big but um but it was american doll um kind of crown which is what it says i'm hoping that's what it is but yeah so this is what they looks like and I can't wait to put that on here but I'm not gonna do that now until I do her hair I'm gonna try to um, curl it and I know like different companies make stuff for American doll but this is by lovebug.com so you can see that if you want to screenshot maybe you can find a crown for the doll that if you're planning are you doing the same thing that I'm doing um you can have it like that so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys I the dress I went and went through Amazon I believe to look for Cinderella dress and it comes like this so I can show you guys and it looks like this which I think is so pretty um it has like a little bit of lint here I don't know what that is but it is so pretty this is the color that we chose they did have a darker blue but we chose this Bahama 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 whatever blue is what it's called Bahama blue I think it's called and it kind of resembles like the one from the movie so this is what it looks like kind of just fluff it up now the cool thing about this dress is that it comes with the petticoats it comes with a very light blue petticoat and then it comes with the silver shoes now the sh silver shoes is not what i want to use i want to use the glass slippers make it look like a glass slippers um, they're like clear or whatever so let me go ahead and get those dress. so i went ahead and picked these slippers which are glass slippers with a butterfly now if you're looking at the cinderella movie the new the recent one you would think at nighttime that i will be free because it's nighttime and i'm still getting phone calls okay sorry about that guys so i went ahead and chose these little slippers because they remind me of a glass slipper and they have the butterfly so it kind of reminds me of the movie um if i can find that hill i'll post a picture here if i can find it but it reminded me of that movie which is like the most recent movie of cinderella i think her last name was um fanning because it's dakota the actress dakota fanning's sister is the one who played cinderella in this recent cinderella i don't even know maybe like two three years old or something ago but anyway <clears throat> these are the ones that we chose and i really like the way these look so 
it to me I felt it was like, gonna be a lot cheaper to do it this way rather than buy the actual big old doll and buy like the dress and like you know you go to like a way like a Kinsanetta shop or whatever and they sell like the dolls there um I don't know if it's gonna be any cheaper if you go to like the valley or if you go to like that type of area like Mexico or something like that but to me I feel like this was a lot cheaper and just came straight to my house and I literally have boxes coming to my house like every week because I order so much stuff for the Kinsanetta so this is something that i want to share with you guys maybe to help you guys out if you guys are in a budget or it's just to help the person that's buying your daughter's last or your your last doll you know this is like an easier route i think the shoes were only like six dollars or something like that the crown was maybe like six something as well the dress was like i think that was the most expensive that was like 26 dollars, which still isn't bad um and then the course the doll i already had um and then I think total and I think it's a little bit over $70 which isn't bad because normally you spend like a hundred and something or $200 for the actual if you go the other route uh, to me I just felt this was a lot cheaper and it helped the godparents out and it, I felt like it was just nicer and prettier and more sentimental like more sentimental value because it was her American doll when she was three years old but anyway that is it i just thought i'd do this first video of this because i got the doll in today and i want to share it with you guys um the next video will be doing other things right now i'm choreographing her dance for her if you guys don't know i am a dance choreographer i've been dancing for about 31 years guys and um it's getting together i rented a studio um and it's just oh it's coming together and it's just so nice and the kids are catching on really fast and stuff like that but i will be showing you guys the other items that we picked i'm just waiting on her bracelet to get here and her anklet i have everything else that way i can do a video of um her items for her kinsa and share that with you guys because i like to share stuff with you guys i mean you know that it's really hard and um, there's not a lot of things out there when i was planning my daughter's kinsa there isn't a lot of things of um you see pinterest and you say oh wow this is pretty but there's sometimes i hate the fact that it's like it's not even taking me to a website it's not even showing me like where i can get this um just like someone's blog and still doesn't give me as much detail so this is gonna be about if you're playing one that's a cinderella then by all means like you can you know take whatever you can here i will pretty much try my best to give you guys links to any of this but like i said all i did was basically searched i typed in american doll um, glass slippers and it just sent me to Amazon and that's how I did it I ordered it um, use Google Google's like so good I'd say same thing Cinderella American doll dress and I did it that way so whatever kind of doll that you chose for your king set for your last doll just search it it'll take you to websites maybe Amazon I do a lot of Poshmark like just in general like it just I don't know I use Poshmark or luck I use Amazon but I do use like other websites but I will try my best to put everything jewelry wise they do have a Disney collection and I that I I'm gonna tell you right now once we get into the video I did a lot of her jewelry through JC Penney's um, in person and online but we will get that in my second video because if I don't do that and split it into different types of videos this video could probably be like for a fucking week long but <laughs> it really is it's just so much but um i hope you guys like this video i hope it was helpful and if you have any questions don't f please comment down below i will answer them in the next video as much as i can also fo follow me on my other social media everything will be in the description in the bottom and yeah that's about it guys i really hope you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe button, ring that bell to notify for future videos and until next time i will see you guys in my next video Mwah. bye